In today's video, we are going to learn how to automate the browser with Selenium. Selenium is a powerful tool for controlling a web browser through the program. It's functional for all browsers, works on all major operating systems, and the scripts are written in various languages such as Python, Java, and C Sharp. Mastering Selenium will help you automate your day-to-day -day tasks like controlling your tweets, WhatsApp texting, and even just Googling without actually opening a browser. The limits of automation with Selenium are endless. Selenium Python bindings provide a convenient API to access Selenium web driver like Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. You will need to install Selenium via pip install Selenium, like shown on the screen. Selenium requires a web driver to interface with the chosen browser. Web drivers is a package to interact with the web browser. In our tutorial, we are going to be working with Google Chrome. So let me show you how to install WebDriver for Google Chrome. This is the Chrome driver website, and I highly recommend you install the latest version of the Chrome driver. Once you'll click on that link, you'll download a chromedriver.exe, an executable file. You have two options. Either you install it and set it in the local path, or you copy the executable file and put it in the directory where your main.py exists. To make sure that the Chrome driver is set in the local path correctly, go ahead in your command prompt and type Chrome driver. And if you get this, this means that the Chrome driver is set in your local path properly. In my case, I have put the Chrome driver.exe file inside my folder. Okay. Now let's go ahead and import our modules. So we want to import the web driver from Selenium. And I want to import keys module from the selenium.webdriver.common.keys. And be careful that keys class has a capital K. Good. The last module that we need is the time module because we are going to use the sleep function for time delay. Now let's instantiate an object from the web driver class. We will call it driver and the driver will be equal to web driver dot Chrome with a capital C and inside here I will write the path where Chrome driver dot exe exists. As you can see, Chrome driver dot exe exists in the current directory. Next thing I want to do is I want to get the website that we are interested in opening. In this tutorial, we are going to automate opening amazon.com website. So let's say driver.get https colon slash slash then www.amazon.com. If we will run the file right now, it has opened automatically the browser and open amazon.com. The next step that we need to take is we need to maximize the browser window. And for that, we have a method called maximize underscore window. And let's run that again. And it has indeed maximized the window for us automatically. Let me explain to you very quickly what we want to do in this tutorial. So I want to automate clicking on that hamburger menu button and clicking on hello sign in, then entering here my email address, clicking on continue or hitting enter, then entering my password, then signing in. Once we signed in, I want to enter a Spider-Man statue for search. Before we move on, I would like to show you something very important. If you will hit F12, you will open the web dev tools. What we are interested in actually is this button right here. It probably has an ID or class or both. So let's go ahead and click on inspect element. And if we will come here and we will click, we will find an ID of nav hyphen hamburger hyphen menu. We are going to do the same thing for all the buttons that we are going to click. What I want to do next is I want to give some time for the web page to load. Let's say two seconds and let's create a variable. We'll call it menu button and this will be equal to driver, which is our web driver class dot find element by ID. 
and inside here I want to pass the exact ID name which I have shown you in the web development tools in Google Chrome. Good. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on that button. So we'll say menu underscore button dot click. Then we want to give one second to sleep. We want to create another variable. We will call it login button. And this will be equal to driver dot find element by ID. And inside here I have another ID. And let me show you the ID for the login button that we want to get. So let's inspect element and let's come here in hello sign in and click and you will find that the ID is equal to H menu hyphen customer hyphen name. So this is the ID of the button that we want to locate in the DOM. And also we want to click on that button. And let's give some time for the page to load. Let's say four seconds because I will be directed to another page. Then let's create two other variables, the username and the password. So we will call the first variable username field, which will be equal to driver dot find element by ID. And let me show you what else do we have. You will find a lot of functions that want to find that element by an ID, by link name, by class name, or by CSS selector. Let's continue by ID. And to show you the ID for the username, let's get back to our browser. Let's inspect that box right here. And we have an ID of AP underscore email. Good. So let's pass that in. Next, we want to write our email address inside that box. For that, we have a function called send underscore keys. I will use my email address back development at gmail.com. So let's get back to our browser. Once the email address will be entered here by Selenium, you have two choices, either to hit enter or to click on continue. As I prefer to hit enter because it's easier, other than locating this button with an ID or any other selector, hence more code. So I prefer to hit enter directly. So we'll say username field dot send keys. And here we will say keys dot return like that. And return means enter. It's the same. And we'll give it some time to sleep because we will be directed to another page. So we'll say to be consistent also four seconds. Then we want our password field. And the ID is AP underscore password. As I won't type my password on the screen, I've written it in a password.txt file. Let's say password field dot send keys and we want to send the password. Then we want to hit enter exactly like we did with the username field. And let's print a statement telling us that you are logged in. And we'll give some time to sleep as well in order to let the page load. Keys here is the keys class with a capital K and the same thing here. Okay, let's run the file. And there you go, the Selenium magic. We have successfully logged in our page in amazon.com. Fantastic. The last thing we need to do is we need to type in something here to search and click on the loop or hit enter. And let's have a third variable, which is the search field. We will call it search field. And this will be equal to driver dot find element by ID. And the ID for the search field is two tab search text box. And let's search for Spider-Man statue. Then we want to hit enter or click on the loop. Just to show you a different function, we will click on the loop. 
and for that we'll create a new search underscore loop variable and this will be equal to driver dot find element by class name because that button did not have an ID and the name of that class is nav hyphen right the last thing we need to do is we need to click on the search loop button and certainly you can put the click function here, but I prefer to be on a separate line for better representation. Then let's print a statement saying that the search was made successfully. And let's try it. So this was how to automate your web browser using Selenium WebDriver. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.